on guys, Coach Luca here and I wanted to break down a method uh, that I use in quite a bit of my programming, especially uh, if you're doing something with limited equipment, like one kettlebell. So right here we got a Kettlebell Kings 52 pound bell. You know, if you're at home, for instance, you may have a couple of bells, which would be great. But even if you have one, like escalating density training is something I started doing 20 years ago, learned from Charles Staley. And it's so effective at like progressing your training. And I'm gonna actually go through some of this. You're gonna watch me live. And what it, what it is, is like, so here's some rules, right? You're gonna pick a time frame, usually somewhere from eight to 16 minutes. Now, you could go longer, you could go shorter, uh, but in like this example, in a lot of my programs, you'll see it's about 10, 12, 15 minutes long, right? With the goal being of building volume, capacity, building muscle. You'll see how this goes. Now, once you cho choose that time frame, you're gonna take a weight that you can usually do for about 12 to 15 reps, and we're gonna be doing it for about eight reps, right? Now you might say like, oh, that's, you know, it's a lot of gap there, it's not gonna be that challenging. But oh boy it is, right? Because we're gonna push this nonstop for that time frame. And the way that it works is that once, you know, because at week to week you're gonna try to get more and more sets and reps in that time frame. Once you get 20% more reps, then you increase the weight. Right? And you can do this for quite a long time. So I'm going to show you guys an example today of, uh, we're going to do three exercises. So imagine that it was 12 minutes on the clock. Now there's other parts of the program, right? But this is the density method uh, part of the program. And those three exercises, I'm going to do it for a specific amount of reps. So I'm going to do a clean into a reverse lunge, offset reverse lunge, right? And we're going to do that. I'm going to do that for six reps. Like I said, I'm not going to go through the whole workout. I'm going to do that for six reps on each side. From there, I'm gonna do a bent over row. Okay, I'm gonna do a little staggered row. We're gonna do that for 10 per side. And then we're gonna do downward dog push ups slash yoga push ups, right? Where we're gonna come down and then push away. And I'm gonna do that for 12. And I would go right back into it. So you guys are gonna kinda of see this in real time. If I had a clock, I would literally put it on the clock, three, two, one, and I'd go. And that's exactly how this is gonna look like. But you're gonna see how long it takes for me to go through one round of this. And if I went straight back into it, give you an example of how many rounds I'd be able to do in about 12 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna rock and roll here. So dead stop clean. Switching it up. Go bent over rows. I'm gonna stagger this a little bit. I'm gonna put my elbow on my, my knee and drive the elbow into the pocket. Switching it up. If you want some extra stability, you can go no hand on the knee. Now I got more of that leg working, abs working. That's exercise two. From there we go, the yoga push-ups. So remember, we're gonna go down and then push away. Reset. Think like a pressing the ground away movement here. Last two. So you can check the time. Now, I'd go straight into it, or like you can see, I'm a, quite a bit out of breath here. Maybe take 10, 20 seconds, go back into it. So if you looked at the time and we said, okay, I got 12 minutes here. That probably took me under two. I'll be able to get six rounds, seven rounds pushing this, okay? And then the goal the week afterward, we get more rounds, okay? Like I said, maybe uh, your fitness level is a certain place. You have to take 30, 45 seconds off 
before you go into the next round. Okay, so this way it gives you a model. Now, once you start squeezing a lot of sets and reps, you up the weight, you keep doing that, then you can extend the time. So if I went for 12 minutes, you'd go to 14 minutes. Okay, and notice, I got one bell. I was able to do, in this case, a hinge pattern with the clean, a single leg, I would say, more squatty pattern with the lunge, a roll pattern, and a push pattern, okay? All in basically one density set. Now, I have a program that's called Eight Weeks to Healthier You. These methods, I'd say these density sets, are all programmed for you, right? It, along with strength exercises coupled together, like I said, it's a complete program. It has everything from dynamic warm-ups, mobility, to strength training, to density training like this, in specific conditioning days with just body weight with kettlebells, right? So you can click and check that out below in a, in a copy section. But regardless of that, take into account this method because if you have one bell or two bells, right now you could go into movements like double kettlebell squat and then some type of you know press. And that would be a density set. And then you have some single leg RDL movement with some type of row. And that would be a density set. And in short amounts of time, less than 30 minutes, imagine just seeing me go through that, doing that for 12 minutes, taking a four or five minute break, doing another density set for 12 minutes. That's a good chunk of work, right? And there's a simple way to progress it and you, your body is gonna change, progressive overload. And like I said, I'm appreciate Charles Staley showing me this a long time ago. We use it in a lot of different ways, also with heavier weights, lower reps. There's a lot of methods to this, but I share a lot of that in the Eight Weeks to Healthy You program. Make sure you check it out. Shout out to some of the best, I would say, kettlebells out there, kettlebell kings. I will see you guys with more methods, more programming that you can apply into your training soon. Peace out.